Welcome everybody. So today I'm taking a look at watOS uh, R9, which is based on 1404, and this is a, a continuation in my little LXDE video series. My previous video was on Lubuntu 1404, and I wanted to mention very quickly, I referred to uh, Firefox as Internet Explorer, which is unforgivable. But um, let's go ahead and take a look at watOS. So watOS, like Lubuntu, is a, a lightweight distribution featuring the LXDE desktop environment. However, um, this requires a little bit less uh, hard drive space. This one only requires 3.9 gigabytes and can run on as little as 128 gigabytes of RAM. So uh, you can run it on a computer as old as a Pentium 3. So I got, went over to, um, to Wikipedia and looked up how old Pentium 3s are, and they were introduced back in 1999. So it's theoretically possible to run the 32-bit version of Watt OS on a uh, Pentium 3. And uh, let's see here. You can go ahead and download it here over at planetwatt.com. They also have a uh, nice little forum, which is, uh, which is awesome and a wiki page with a little bit of information on both systems. So let's go ahead and take a look around. So right here we've got our uh, file file manager, PC Man FM. Uh, Audacious is the audio player. So I've got some uh, some Ronald Jenkins. I'm really bad at pronouncing his name. Forgive me for that. Simple. Uh, text editor. Notice how quickly this is um, loading up the, uh, the programs. Yeah, I haven't set up a file, the FTP program yet. Document viewer. In fact, let's go ahead and, whoops, actually I don't want to look at the document viewer, but I do want to show you guys some screenshots from when I first ran the system. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is the uh, memory footprint uh, close to uh, the boot time. So we're talking about 245 megabytes. I'd suggest 256 megabytes is, is a good uh, usable min minimum for this distribution. What's really cool is the power usage, or not the power usage, but the uh, the temperature. Uh, very frequently when I was just surfing the web, I would go as low as 38 degrees centigrade. And on this laptop, that's pretty impressive. Um, usually I tend to hover around uh, the low 50s when I'm not using um, memory intensive or CPU intensive applications. And that's what this uh, distribution is created around, is the idea of using very lightweight applications and uh, settings to save a little bit of power. Great for setting up as a home server or something in the background. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at my terminal here. So you can see my current temperature while I'm recording this video, my current memory usage on this uh, Ivy Bridge laptop. Um, so it's extremely uh, resource efficient. So if you're looking for something a little bit lighter than Lubuntu and you enjoy the uh, LXE desktop, definitely give this one a shot. Um, I like to keep it on a netbook. I have this old uh, six-year-old netbook which is uh, terribly slow and uh, this really squeezes out every bit of CPU power out of that thing. Um, additionally, they do have a microwatt variant which uses the i3 window uh, manager. So if you'd like uh, tiled window managers, uh, that's definitely a good one to look at. Um, definitely get a lot of cool terminal um, kung fu out of that system. Alright guys, well thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.